let us come back and start with the halides of phosphorus basically phosphorus forms hydrates of type ph3 that is phosphine after phosphine we are going to learn about the halides that is your pcl3 and pcl5 first let us see the preparations of phosphorus trichloride pcl3 and learn the preparation of phosphorus 5 pentachloride that is pcl5 done so now for this particular thing simple just see take p4 here take p4 here simple now you have to prepare pcl3 then try to pick up your chlorine which is diatomic here also try to pick up your chlorine which is diatomic for preparation of <coughs> Uh, your uh, PCL3 try always try to pick up six moles of chlorine here try to pick up 10 simple logic in the exam paper if they give you six that means you're going to form a product of PCL3 then to give you 10 moles of chlorine then you're going to prepare PCL5 remember this word please now uh, what what do we get phosphorus plus chlorine gives me PCL3 now phosphorus with 10 chlorine gives me PCL5 let us balance phosphorus is 4 so I'm going to make 4 4 3s are 12 6 2s are 12 balanced here in this case 10 Oh, 10 chlorine so 10 twos are 20 chlorines are there so already phosphorus is 4 try to make 4 so 5 fours are 20 10 twos are 20 done so remember logic for preparation of pcl3 i require 6 chlorines for the preparation of pcl5 i require 10 chlorines done now let us come back and do the next reaction of 5 uh, uh, like for the preparation of phosph phosphorus trichloride that is from our reaction with just observe carefully this is called thionyl chloride okay now i'm going to show you one more reaction now this is called don't get confused reaction with sulf sulfuryl chloride okay there's a difference please observe carefully right thionyl chloride formula is associated to sulfuryl for chloride formula is so 2 cl2 remember that now <clears throat> suppose and one more important thing is whenever you're taking thionyl chloride the gas which is released is sulfur dioxide gas compulsory remember that now let us start with the <coughs> reaction now i'm going to take phosphorus so important thing is whenever you're taking thionyl chloride suppose in the paper they've given you eight moles of thionyl chloride done here p4 <coughs> the sulfur chloride taken would be and here i'm going to take 10 moles of this yeah simple now let's see i said sulfur dioxide gas would be the byproduct now from this tiny chloride you're going to get sulfur dioxide gas along with that you also are going to prepare pcl3 pcl3 we will also balance and see pcl3 apart from that you get a compound called s2cl2 important this compound is called disulfur dichloride disulfur dichloride let us balance here you have taken 8 now your phosphorus is 4 done now sulfur i already have 4 so let us make 4 then uh, for 4 okay 2 now let's see sulfur is 4 here 2 is a 4 8 sulfurs are balanced phosphorus is 4 phosphorus 4 is balanced here chlorines are 8 2 is a 16 4 3 is a 12 12 and 4 16 now oxygens are for 2 is a 8 8 oxygens this is your product now whenever you are taking sulfuryl chloride important thing you are going to get only two products one would be the phosphorus forming pcl5 pcl5 and the next one the sulfuryl chloride will dissociate in the gas which is released is only sulfur dioxide gas simple here only you get s2cl2 this is where the examiner is going to question you pcl3 with thionyl chloride will give me disulfur dichloride remember practice this reaction Action. now with 10 moles now let us balance and see uh, suppose here phosphorus is p4 so let me make p4 now sulfur already is 10 let me make 10 now let us see now phosphorus is 4 4 sulfur is 10 10 oxygen is 10 to the 20 here oxygen is 10 to the 20 your chlorine 10 to the 20 your chlorine 5 for the 20 so this is what is done so let us name that this is phosphorus pentachloride this is it so remember please do practice the reactions carefully with 8 moles i get disulfur dichloride along with pcl3 with 10 moles of sulfuryl chloride don't get confused this is so cl2 this is so 2 cl2 so i get these products